Hello everybody and welcome back to Skyrim. Now in the last episode we left off with Julian and Shyvana here at the Azura Shrine. After talking to the lady here that's at the altar, we need to go talk to somebody back in Winterhold. So we are going to head back to Winterhold before that dragon starts heading this way. I was going to stay the night to warm up. But there's no firewood here, and now here I am freezing to death, so we need to hurry up and get back to town. I wonder if I have any soup. That might help warm me up. Although I should check my needs, because if I overheat, or overeat, that is. Do I have any soups? I don't, but I have snowberry juice. Let's take that. Supposedly, that helps with the cold. Come on, we don't have time to stand around and eat. Come on, Chavana, we gotta get the heck out of here. Okay, I think I'm going the right way. I don't even have time to mess with these guys. I'll freeze to death if I do. Go, go, go! Move! Look out, I'm freezing here, get out of my way. Okay, well, we'd be able to make it. The vision's even starting to blur. Come on, horse, let's go. We made it. I could warm up there, but let's just get to the inn. Oh, and look at that blur setting in. I probably only had a couple more minutes out here. Welcome. Whew. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Heck yeah, I'm very cold. There we go. Need to see if we can pick up some soup while we're here too. Now I think the guy we're looking for is here in town as well. Hmm. Let's just turn off the other quest for now. And we will just keep that one on. Yeah, he's right outside here it looks like. Frozen right to the bone. You know what? Let's go see if we can cook. I understand Courier's been complaining about our customers again. What of it? It's out, and they cause him no harm. I believe he was suggesting their presence causes him harm. Well, then he's welcome to eat and drink at home, isn't he? Hello. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Is there an elven mage here that studies the stars? The mages are up in the college. You can ask them if they'll let you in. Then again, Nelikar might know. He's an old-timer from the college, but he has a room here. Could you fill my water bottles, please? What have you got for sale? Take a look. Uh, 
Oh, I'm not gonna eat dog meat stew. Yuck. Thanks. See ya. So this guy has a room here. Hello. We don't get many people like you visiting Winterhold. Usually it's elves. <laughs> ah, here he is. Few can resist my charms. Hello. My days at the college are long behind me, but I prefer to stay close by. I'm looking for an elven mage who studies the stars. Who sent you? Was it the college? The Jarl? We agreed there would be no more questions. No, I was sent by a priestess of Azura. Azura? Gods, it's all finally coming back to haunt me. What do you know about soul gems? They're for enchanting, aren't they? They are, except the gem is always consumed. They're frail, except for one. Azura's star, a daedric artifact that allows any number of souls to pass through it. Some of us wanted to find out how. I was working under Malin Varan then. If only we knew what he was really planning. What'd he do? Malin wanted to alter the star. He was dying, disease. He thought he could store his own soul inside, become immortal. It drove him mad. Students started dying. Eventually, the college exiled him. He took a few loyal disciples to Ilan Alter's Deep and vanished. Look, I don't care who asked you to find the star, but don't take it back to Azora. The Daedra are evil. They're the reason Malin went insane. So how's this star work? I mentioned how the star is a soul gem, only it never gets depleted. There's another rule the artifact follows. You can only store white souls in the star belonging to the lesser creatures. Azura's magic won't allow black souls to enter it. As a mortal, Malin's soul was black, so part of his work was breaking past Azura's rules. He was close before. Well, I already told you. So how'd they drive him insane? Azura is no ordinary Daedra. She commands an entire realm inside of Oblivion. The more Malin worked on the star, the more she was able to damn him. It started slowly at first. Malin would see things that weren't there. Then he would yell at students over words they hadn't said. Then one day I walked in and Malin had killed a student. And in a horrific moment of inspiration, he started using her soul for his work. Wow, sounds like he got what was coming to him. The college would agree with you. But do you have any idea how many innocent lives were cut short just so Azura could have revenge? We're nothing to the Daedra. Pawns to move around, praise and punish as they see fit. Huh. All right then. So did he have anything else or do I just need to go to Illinalta's deep? I told you what you wanted to know. What else could you want? Oh, that's it. Until next time. Hey, it's the Jarl. Hello. What's your business here in Winterhold? Just passing through. Stay clear of that college, if you know what's good for you. Nothing but foul deeds behind those walls. So you're the Jarl? I'm looking for work in the area. Winterhold has lost much of its history, and with that much of its power. I aim to change that. They say foul and more I've heard rumors of the resting place of the Helm of Winterhold. The very same helm that Jarl Hansa wore in the First Era. Hansa was in line to be High King of Skyrim, you know. Having that might get the ear of the other holds and give me some authority. I'll look for it. Good. I'll have a sum of gold waiting for your return. Come back as soon as you have the helm. Okay, so now we need to go find this black star. Find Azura Star and Ellen Alta's Deep. Okay. That's not in this area. We've got a ton of stuff to work on in that area, though. But all of these are on the way. So we've got the stolen books. 
We've got a bounty. Shalador's writings, that's on the other side of the globe. And up the mountain. So what's going to be the easiest way to get to these books? If we take... Travel back. Which way do we want to go to? So we could either take the horn back and then go do the books. Or how do I want to work that? Hmm. I think we're actually going to take the take the carriage back to Whiterun. Hello. Need a ride? I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? Boy, I can really go to other places too. I mean, really, we've got so much available to us here. How do we want to do this? We could even go to Helgen. We can go to Iverstead to go up the mountain. Until take you to any of the hold capitals. Where do you want to go? Let's go to Iverstead and turn in the horn and then we'll go look for the books. And then we'll head back to White Run because we've got a ton of quests in that area. Climb and back and we'll be off. Just makes more sense. Let's get this knocked out of the way and find out what they want from us next. I like to think I've aged well. Okay, here we are in Iverstead, and I just realized that we left Taj behind. Oops. So we'll summon him. Hey, buddy. Glad to have you back with us. We're going to get a night's rest here at the inn. Oh, it's actually morning. And I'm hungry, thirsty, tired. So we could actually stay here for just a short time. We don't need to stay the whole night. Hey, I remember this guy. <laughs> yeah, keep quiet. Hey, Wilhelm. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. I need a room for just a few hours. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Do you have any food? Let's save that appetite. Hmm? I'll take a couple more stews. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Okay, now before the day ends, let's get out of here so we can head up the mountain. Let's go, guys. So far, they haven't been too bad, Haj. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's tough for a little spider. Get him, Haj. Sorry, man. At least we know what to expect this time going up the mountain. I gotta be careful, though. I know 
Halfway up here, we ran into some trouble last time, and in my furs, I just got smacked around. Not enough armor. I am damp, so let's look at my robes here. Yeah, we'll put this on. I think this one's more like a leather robe. It's better for rain. As soon as it stops raining. Just keep riding. Don't need to stop and fight anything. Unless we have to. We got a troll here. Let's just go by him. Let him fight what he's fighting. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let all these guys fight each other. You guys got the right idea here, goats. Run. <laughs> There's a lot of trouble back there. The weather is gorgeous. I could probably put on a different cloak. I might warm mine up and get it dried out first. Once we get up here to the peak. Alright, let's ignore this guy's... Yeah, these guys. Luckily, with convenient horses, I have the horses set to have a lot more stamina than normal. The horses are pretty useless in vanilla. If you're not using convenient horses, you're not using horses. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're not thieves, Hodge. We don't take. We don't even take stuff that won't be missed. We're good guys, remember? Okay, here we are. I'm gonna put that cloak back on so I can warm it up, dry it out. Okay, then I need you two to wait I'll here. Watch from here. I'm right. You go on ahead. Thanks, guys. So, I imagine I've got to talk to one of these guys. Aha! Arngear! Ah, you've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Wimko. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Ready to learn the final word of 
unrelenting force. Da, which means push. Da. Da. With all three words together, this shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. Master Wolf, I will now gift you with this knowledge of Da. speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards, but you are ready. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, good old Hodge. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> I love Hodge. He's awesome. You have tasted the voice of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. So what now? Sky, guard you. What was that ceremony all about? Were you shouting at me? We spoke the traditional words of greeting to a dragonborn who has accepted our guidance. The same words were used to greet the young Talos when he came to High Hrothgar, before he became the Emperor Tiber Septim. What did you say, actually? Ah, I sometimes forget you are not versed in the dragon tongue as we are. This is a rough translation. Long has the storm crown languished, with no worthy brow to sit upon. By our breath, we bestow it now to you, in the name of Kain, in the name of Shore, and in the name of Atmora of old. You are Ismir now, the dragon of the north. Hearken to it. Ismir, dragon of the north? That sounds awesome. Now that's a title for a name tag. So why are the dragons returning? Does it have something to do with me? No doubt. The appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. I'd like to learn more about the voice. You have learned so much already, dragonborn. Growing your gift too quickly would be dangerous. But there are many words of power in Skyrim carved in the dragon tongue. Even from here we can feel the thum resonate from them. Finding these lost words would be a sufficient test to temper your abilities with experience. Ask when you are ready to search. So have you located any of these? I am ready to look for them. We have felt the whisper of a word. Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Where can I meet the leader, Parthenax? As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. Tell me about the Greybeards. We study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Windkorn. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. Sky above, voice. Your training proceeds well, Dragonborn. Okay, so we even got another quest from these guys. 
Or did we? No, he showed something on my map. Yeah, word of power. Okay. It looks like we're done here then. Come on with. We heading. Let's get going. Let's head out, Hodge. Whenever you're ready to leave, I will walk alongside you. Wow, look at the pink in the clouds. That's beautiful. All right, but that also means it's getting cold here, so we need to get back down the mountain. I know when one should speak and when one we can hurry up and get off this mountain before it gets too cold. What a waste of time. Not really, Hodge. They taught me a lot of what I can expect out of being dragonborn. See ya, troll. Sprinting downhill on a horse on snowy ledges like this is probably not the safest thing. Go sliding off the side of the hill here. Ah, uh, sea goats? Got to keep moving up here, man. You're not safe. That's what's so cool. See that mod? That uh, that that's Earth up there. I have a mod that makes the planet their Earth. You can actually see the lights from people's houses because of it being nighttime. It's just awesome. You can see the little dots of light there. Look out! Now let's make sure these guys aren't all chasing us and we don't bring them right back into town here. Wake everyone up at night by bringing three or four trolls down off the hill for them. Look at what I brought, guys! Death and destruction. Hopefully we've outrun everything and we won't be dragging anything with us. I'm going to cut some wood while I have the chance to remember it. Well, it doesn't look like any trolls have run into town just yet. I don't know where my two followers are, though. They could be dragging those trolls with them. Oh, there they are. Check the old compass. Yeah, we're good. Well, let's head in for a night's rest here, guys.
that Klemek? Hey, Klemek. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. You too, man. Take care. Thanks again for the legwork. Not a problem. Welcome to the Villamir Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. I just need a place to get a night's rest, friend. wondering if you hello ladies is there anything a big strong man can do for you this fine day <laughs> i don't know if you see any big strong men around let us know will you <laughs> <laughs> harpies yeah. women huh hodge don't come now don't go <laughs> we argonians do the work the nords don't want to do Yep, you do all the work I don't like doing either, man, but you do it you do it well. Okay, everybody, you know what? I think this is getting close on time for this episode. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do next. Uh, we do have a lot of things in this area we can start looking at. We'll probably go do the books. And then after that, because those are on the way back to Whiterun, then once we get back to Whiterun, I've got quests all over this area that I think we're going to take care of and get back on track possibly for the companions quest because I want to get rid of my beast blood so that I'm not a werewolf anymore so we'll see what what the path is going to take us on me being the king of the distractions who knows where we're going next but I'm sure we're going to have some fun so I just want to say thanks to everybody for watching take care and I will see you next time Hey everybody, it's Howitzer here, and as with every episode, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, if you could leave me a like or a comment down below, it'd be really appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for all the new content. Thanks again, take care, have a great day, and we will see you next time.